Hey, this is Bug Powder Dust. Thank you for joining me for the first video in a very long time. And this one doesn't have any gameplay, but it contains a quality of life improvement for those of you who, like me, couldn't initially figure out how to disable the XVM damage log now that 9.17.1 has been released and we have a very nice vanilla damage log that Wargaming have kindly provided for us eventually, six years or seven years on. So, if you like me, you're wondering how to get rid of the XVM hit log in order to use the vanilla one. Well, I did a little bit of research and there's lots of advice on the forums, all very well meaning, but uh, I couldn't really get anything to work. So I managed to just fiddle about with it. Unfortunately, there's no way of trialing it other than making a, a change, saving it, restarting the client if it was, it was open already, and then playing a game. Um, so I was playing lots of level, uh, not level, tier one and two games just to test it out if my changes had been successful. And finally they were. So what you need to do is there is a, a, a few step process, but it's actually very straightforward. There's two files that you need to look at. Now, I'm assuming you've got XVM installed on your machine, okay? So I'm not going to go into that because why would you be watching this otherwise? So what you do is you go into your, uh, your res mods, then your configs folder. So you don't need to actually to go down into the numbers, go into the configs, XVM. Now, most people, when they're explaining how to do this, they assume that you're just running with the default XVM setting. Go into the XVM.xc file here and just take a look at what is in brackets on the left-hand side of the uh, forward slash. And this is default. So that's the folder, the subfolder, that you're going to operate in for the rest of this video. So in my case, it's default. Some, some of you may be running custom... Uh, setups, in which case, for instance, here there's a Surmax folder. So if I was using a Surmax configuration, it would say Surmax here rather than default. So that's an important thing to point out. When this doesn't work, people may have missed this. So we're looking at the default folder. Your mileage may vary. So check the XVMXE file. So then you go into default. Now, so there's two files, okay? The first thing you need to do is go into battle labels templates.xe, although the order doesn't really matter, but that, for the intense purposes, we're going to go into this now. So you need to change three things here, okay? First thing is hit log header. That, you need to change this to false. If it's true, it probably is, change that to false. And secondly, hit log body, again, you change this to false, okay? That setting, it might say true. Then you scroll down and you find an entry called damage log, which is a bit further down. And again, you set that to false if it was true. Now when that's done, you hit save um, and then you, you close it and uh, you know, move on to the next file. Now you can do this in Notepad if you want to. I'm using something called Notepad++. Uh, you, again, your mileage may vary and uh, you can choose any kind of text editor that you like. So close that. Second thing, damagelog.exe. Again, it's in the same folder, the default folder. So open that up and then you take a look at this. Now this is a little bit counterintuitive. OK, so what it's saying here is if you have this set to true, you're disabling the vanilla standard, sorry, the vanilla detail damage. If it says it's standard, it means it's vanilla. Basically, this kind of caught me out. So you're saying I don't want to disable it, so I'm going to set it to false. So disable detail stats, um, you set to false and summary stats, you set to false. That's it. Again, you save the file and you close it. And that is that. Now what will happen then is then you now launch the client again if it was open you must restart it. You launch the client and what will happen then is that you'll now get the uh, the vanilla damage log. Um, you must ensure you actually enable this. So go into uh, in, into the uh, the client settings um, and then go into uh, I'm using my, my memory now and it's a new setting. Um, I think it's battle notifications and then log make sure it's all enabled um, and then you then fire it up, go into a battle and you should uh, have it there. So I hope this was useful because um, I was kind of, uh, I was hoping that someone had done a video like this for me, but instead I just kind of muddled through and had to play a game every time I made a change. So anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, if, if it was, please leave a thumbs up, please leave any comments uh, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.